Hello friends! Hey! It's Julia and Sydney. We're going to talk to you today about Ferris and non-Ferris medals! Yay! Alright. <laughs> so this is just what's on the test, so pay attention. Yeah, short and sweet. Ferris medals are medals that contain a large percentage of iron. Here's a picture of a non-Ferris medal. And this is a non-ferrous metal. It's a metal containing little or no iron. So do you see the color difference? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. <laughs> that can be sick. All right. Cupris. Or Supris. <laughs> <laughs> How are you saying? We're not sure. It just contains copper. So there's a little copper block. Yay. All right. Alloy is a substance that is a mixture of two or more metals or of a metal with a non-metallic material. So you can see that it's it's just a mixture and it can be in this like rock form or this steel bar form or not steel, just bar. Never mind. Yeah, just remember okay. that alloy is mixed. Steel, a strong alloy of iron containing up to 1.5% carbon along with the small amounts of other elements such as manganese, chromium, and nickel. <laughs> so as you can see, it can be in a wide range of properties. Like in the picture, you can see the different uses that it has and different treatments that can be on steel. Anything we want to add, Sydney? No. OK, great. Iron is the most widely used of all the metals, and it counts for 95% of the worldwide metal production. That's a lot. It's low cost <laughs> and high strength, and so they use it a lot in machinery, large ships, automobiles, tools, structural components for buildings, etc. A lot of things. Yes. It's soft in its um, pure form, but it's mostly commonly used in the form of steel. So. so steel and iron are pretty much your main go-to. Well, steel, yeah. Anyways. Oh, well. Okay, tensile strength is the maximum stretching force that a material can withstand before breaking. So let's think of a tightrope and how it's like super long and um, what were we saying before? How like you can explain. Okay, so it's different between concrete because concrete has a compact compact strength. So but a tensile, there's like a tightrope and it goes and you have from point A to point B and then it's how much force can be between these two without it like sagging or breaking or something like that. Okay? Great. Forged, to shape or form metal by heating and hammering it. As you can see, this person is taking a heat rod and hammering their metal. I mean, heating their metal. And shaping it. And forming it. Forging it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Galvanized metal is when you coat a metal, usually with iron and steel, with zinc to prevent corrosion. So as you can see on the right, there's a galvanized steel wire rope. And basically when you galvanize a metal, just like it says up there, you're protecting it and you're making it last longer and look prettier, basically. Concealing tarnishing. So Sydney can explain and I'll show the picture. Oh, okay, so texturing of the metal Oh, if you want to conceal the tar Lilla. if you want to conceal tarnishing, <laughs> sorry guys, you can texture the metal to help conceal the tarnishing or patina that may develop over the years. So there's lots of different treatments that you can use to enhance the aesthetic of it as well as make it last longer. And as you can see in the picture, the tarnished one looks a lot more rustic and old and because it's more tarnished than the other one. So you can just look at the picture, ponder its beauty, and yeah, it's pretty much that's that. Yeah, but also I just realized, like, oh. the Statue of Liberty, that has a cool tarnish on the copper, mm -hmm. but, like, they try now to maintain it. Yeah. instead of pretty copper. So, I mean, sometimes you want a tarnish if you're going for some certain aesthetic. But. And sometimes it's a mistake. So just make sure you know, like, what materials you're using and know how to maintain them so that they can... Um, and what you want. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. So that is basically it. Just go over our report, and the slide shows what's on the study guide. And so. you're going to get an awesome grade on the middle portion, at least, because ours is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't promise about everything else. Okay. We but hope you do anyways. Here's a good YouTube video to watch. Bye, friends. Thanks for watching. See you guys.